everyone, Jason Alea back here again, and today we're going to be reacting to the Penguin official teaser. Now, I'm a big fan of Matt Reeves' the Batman, and I'm very interested to see what he has in store for this character, and Colin Farrell as a Penguin in the Batman surprised me a whole lot due to how good the makeup is, but also by how well he was able to perform this very evil gangster character and while there are certainly differences and similarities to the comics Colin Farrell was able to make this version of the Penguin his own and unique so I am excited to see what he has in store for an entire show based around this character so let's take a look at this teaser <laughs> I was a kid. There was a gangster. Real old school type. Rex Calabrese. He was a big deal. Seriously. He helped people. You can't imagine Seriously. Colin Farrell underneath oh, all that makeup. When I'm 14 or something, he has a heart attack and dies. Okay. Still holding a cigar. Hmm. In my neighborhood, they throw a parade in his honor. Dude. A freaking parade. His performance so far here well, is it was a fancy, excellent. But it was a gesture. To show love. For what he meant. So, I'm, I'm guessing this gives you like an origin story on how he obtained all this power in Gotham. I'm excited to see that. Can you imagine to be remembered like that? Sounds like a nice kingpin gangster type show here. And I'm all for it. Okay, so that was the teaser for Colin Farrell's The Penguin. And from what it looks like here, as I said, it's gonna be an origin story of the penguin. We're getting like glimpses of how he is obtaining his power and leverage in Gotham, how he is in his everyday life, and we are hearing him tell this story about this gangster he knows. And I'm betting that this all ties into how he first started his rise up to power in Gotham City. And I'm very excited to see how that turns out. And as I said before, Colin, per <laughs> Colin Peril, Colin Farrell as a penguin is is just extraordinary. Just underneath all that makeup, even then, he still sounds nothing like Colin Farrell. He sounds like a completely different character, and he just brings this comic book villain to life in the best possible way. To the point where, so far, even in this trailer, I can't imagine anyone else doing as good of a job. Not even Jonah Hill. I'm not, I know a lot of people wanted Jonah Hill, but to be honest, I don't think he would have done as good as Colin Farrell. I think they struck gold with this casting. So, aesthetically, this looks similar to the Batman. It feels like it's in that same universe. So I love that sense of keeping things consistent in this world and I'm just excited to see what Matt Reeves has in store for us here. It's his first go at a TV show so I am very excited to see what he does with this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you like this trailer? Do you not? Do you think it could have been a little bit better? Or are you just as excited as I am? Let me know in the comments down below. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.